one password tutorial beginner's guide hello everyone and welcome back in today's video i'll be showing you guys how you can get started with one password one password is a password management tool which is amazingly helpful for people like me who often forget their passwords instead of having to remember each individual strong password that you create you can remember your one password password and that is all you need to know once you do that you can log on to one password and it can save all of your passwords for you they ensure that your passwords are safe and secure and you can easily sign into any device and your passwords will be synced. Make sure you do turn on your permissions on multiple devices so one password has access and is able to integrate all of your passwords. Now, moving on, let's get started with actually using their password manager. So for this, you're going to go into onepassword.com and then click on get started for free. Once you do that, you have different plans including their business, personal, as well as all of their plans. Now, there are several different plans available. If you are going for personal plans, you have an individual plan and a family plan. Then you also have an extended access management. And with the AWS Marketplace, you have it included in your consolidated billing. Now, if you just want to get started with one password, you can get started for free. There's a 14-day free trial. And if you click on Explore Their Password Manager, you can click on Try for Free and then Proceed. Now, I don't want the family plan. I'm going to be starting with an individual plan on one password. So we're just going to go back and we're going to go into our... I'm just going to proceed with this. And then I am going to click on add extension. And this will open up the Chrome Web Store from where we're going to download the one password password manager. You're going to click on add to Chrome and then click on add extension. Once you click on add extension, you're going to be moving towards the next step. So once this is integrated into Chrome, we're going to be able to start using their application. So on your top right where you have your puzzle icon, you can pin one password. Now it's time to create my account. So I'm going to type in my name and then we're going to type in our email address and then click on next once we click on next we're going to get a verification code on our mailbox so you're gonna have to open up your mailbox and then you're going to copy this code paste it in click on next and then once you do that you're going to click on next now before you click on next make sure to remember any of your key phrases that you're using because this is going to be the only password you have to remember after this you're not going to have to remember any of your passwords so make sure this is the one you do remember because this is not something that you can reset so you cannot reset a forgotten password this is for your own security and we're just going to set this up and then click on next once we do that we're going to choose our payment method so you will not be charged until your free trial ends and our free trial is going to end on the 27th of december now for this you can use a card or a us bank or you can also add a gift card so i'm just gonna fill in this information so now our payment method has been added and we can proceed on to our next step which is setting up our extension so on the top right, if you click on the one password extension, you're going to see your username, your password, your website, the notes, starter kits, and then you're going to have your basic card info. Now, the next step is to actually set up your unique key. You're going to click on generate secret key and this will generate your secret code. This is the code that you have to remember in case you ever forget your one password password. This serves as your really major recovery tool and you can click on save PDF and save your emergency kit key. You can also write this down on a piece of paper and then keep it in a drawer. You can hide it somewhere in your room. Then you're going to click on next and you can invite your family. I'm going to skip this for now. We're going to click on continue. Then once we've done that, we're going to skip the tutorial and open up one password. And once we do that, it's time to start adding more data. Now, if you already have your password stored in your browser, you can click on add your first items. 
and then you can type in your browser info, your password. You can import your passwords from another password manager. So if you were using KeyPass, Dashlane, LastPass, RoboForm, or any other password manager, you can import your information from there. You can also type in your memorized passwords, use a pen and paper that you can scan. You can use a spreadsheet as well as CSV file if you have your passwords written there. So let's say I want to add a new item. And once I click on new item here, the password manager will show me the options for me adding passwords. And this is not only functional to, you know, store pre-existing passwords, but because it's such a really, you know, simple to use tool, I can add anything. So it does not necessarily have to be a web password. This could be my ID information. This could be a secure note. This could be a database, a crypto wallet info, my driver's license info, my passport info, email accounts, whatever it is. Let's say I want to write a secure note and this is going to be called my grad speech. So let's say I want to save this or my yearbook one line. And then I can write the line over here, he, 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 whatever that line is. I'm going to write it as he, he, he. And once I do that, I can click on add more. I can add text. I can securely save my URLs, emails, addresses, dates, months or years, one-time passwords, simple passwords, phone, sign-in info, and then click on save. Once you do that, you're going to have a private space to save. Now, because we have subscribed to a family account, we can see that this is located in our family. As I add more family members, more people will be integrated and you can have a space where anyone can share anything and then segregated spaces for each individual. You will also see the option to share your password or your secure info. And when you share this, you have the ability to share for a certain duration, as well as if the password or whatever note you're sharing is only viewable one time. You can also edit this as well as add it to your favorite. So if you have bits of information that you frequently have to type out, like your email address, you can save that and add it in your favorites. So you can access them at any time by clicking on favorites on the top left. You also have a watchtower. Watchtowers allow you to get alerts for any security issues that may affect you. You also have different categories of your passwords, such as your logins, your secure notes, and your identity information. And then you have a deleted tab as well as an archive tab. And now if I sign up for any platform, so if I go onto MailChimp and I start registering my account like this, one password is going to be able to save it. So if I click on my one password account, you guys will see that I can click on new item or as I'm typing, you guys can see we have a one password icon and it's telling me that there is no login info saved. And if I proceed with my own, I can then save it into this platform. So I hope you guys find this video helpful. And if you did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video.